Do you think it's frowned upon to uh, chop down this Christmas tree? <laughs> I don't think it'll survive till December. Hi guys, on today's adventure, we're heading to the San Jacinto Mountains to where some locals like to be called the Hill People. We're heading to Idlewild, California. Okay, so we're very interested on going on one of Idlewild's famous hiking trails, but first we need to fuel up and get some breakfast. Let's eat at the Mile High Cafe Restaurant. So Yelp lists this restaurant as Korean fusion, but you can only sample those dishes during lunch and dinner. This place is so classy, it even has live music for the breakfast crowd. Nothing says stay full for a hike than a breakfast burrito. I got mine with chorizo. Notice how they even grill the outside. Becky got the spinach, mushroom, and Swiss omelet. The potatoes were slightly crisp and the fig jam was a nice touch for the toast. That was a delicious breakfast. Let's go on an adventure. So we want to do things the right way. We were told you just can't go and wander around the trails by yourself. You got to do some paperwork first. Let's go show you how. So this is our permit that we have to fill out to be able to be in these mountains. Basically what they want us to do is we have a white copy that we keep. The yellow copy goes inside the bucket and then um, we put our license plate information on here and so if anything happens to us they are able to try to figure out where we are but that's not gonna happen right no that's not oh gonna god <laughs> so yeah don't leave without getting one of these would have been great if they told me that the first time <laughs> So we made it to Humber Park, just two and a half miles away from the ranger station. It looks like we're gonna catch a trail. Right over there. Sun's out, not too bad. Let's go. We're gonna be doing the Ernie Maxwell Scenic Trail. It's one of the shortest trails that you can do inside of Humber Park. So far so good. Most of the way you have about a two to three foot trail. Some rocks, but not too bad. Hey Tony, this is a manzanita tree. And I can tell that because it's red. And like, look at this stuff peels right here. I believe it's the state tree of California, but I'm not sure. And I can't look it up right now because we have no service. The literal Spanish translation for manzanita is little apple. While its bark is also bright red and beautiful, the official state tree of California is the sequoia. I knew that, I swear. Sequoia is amazing, uh, you should go. Yeah, but maybe on the next adventure. So if a tree falls in the forest and there is no one there to hear it, does it make a noise? Let us know in the comments. But seriously, did you know it takes anywhere from 57 to 124 years for a coniferous tree to decompose? Hey, this rock's cool. Look at the little lines that are being cut into it by weathering? Water, maybe? You know what kind of rock this is? No, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess granite. Oh, I guess if you don't know your knowledge, you don't want to take it for granite. 
There are plenty of nice people and dogs that hike this trail. Apparently people on horseback too, but we didn't get to see any of them. The views all along the trail are amazing, and every once in a while you can catch a glimpse of Takwitz Peak. In the winter, you can use your snowshoes and hike in the snow. Now listen, I've been roaming the planet for over 30 years now, and in those 30 years I have prided myself in staying upright as our caveman ancestors before us. What was to have transpired next is, quite frankly, embarrassing. I fell. Yup, the camera wasn't rolling, so here's a nice dramatization courteous of some stock footage. All right, guys, we're here with Steven, and Steven just saved us after our uh, Uber and our Lyft <laughs> app didn't work. We got stuck up there in one of the easy trails and uh, called up the uh, forest, uh, the ranger station. They gave us Steven's phone number. We'd like to thank you so much. Do you have any kind words of wisdom for anybody coming in, like, you know, from out of the city? As Boy Scout said, uh, be prepared. Be prepared. Am I saying I do a good turn daily? <laughs> awesome. I go by Grumpy, and this is called Grumpy Transportation. What's your phone number, Stephen? Oh, I don't give that one out. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, let's see if we could give the uh, link in the description, okay? okay? Awesome. Thanks so much. Okay. Take care. Accommodations in Idlewild include a few inns, but mostly cabins. You can rent them for a day or longer through Expedia, Airbnb, and Verbo. We stayed in a cozy cabin that included a full kitchen for about $100 this weekend. You are never more than a few minutes walk to the center of town. Okay guys, thank you for watching this adventure. Please share this with your friends if you enjoy our travels and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Until next time, bye bye